Hi, I'm Billy Vasey. I'm the inventor of the violin belay. I wanted to make a video just to give everybody a little bit of background about the violin belay. Uh, clear up a few questions maybe about how it's made um, and how you use it. Uh, just to familiarize people with it a little bit. Uh, first of all, I used to play the, the fiddle back in the early 90s. Then in 1995, I hurt my neck. I had, had neck surgery and after that was all over, I tried to play the fiddle, I'd have headaches for about three weeks. So I sold my fiddle, and uh, I didn't play for a few years. But a few years later, I got thinking I'd like to play the fiddle again. So I bought me a fiddle, and I started looking for something to hold it, but I couldn't find anything that I liked. So I started trying to think of how I could you know, invent something to hold it. And I came up with a lot of ideas. I tried all kinds of stuff. Uh, um, but finally I came up with the idea for the violin blade. The very, the very first one was really crude. I uh, made it with duct tape and nickels and uh, some string, I think. I don't remember exactly what all. I spent the nickels a while back when my piggy bank got uh, empty. But I kept working on it because it worked. And I liked it. And it made me able to play. I can play all day long. My injuries are such that the violin delay, as long as I'm not holding the fiddle with my neck, I can, I can play for a long time, no problem. Without, without something to hold it, I couldn't play. No way, I'd be getting headaches. So uh, it works really good for me. I've been using it for quite a while now. I've had some fiddlers help me with the design through the years. I've gotten it to this point. I'm really happy with it. Uh, I just decided, you know, help me, I could make a few bucks and help some other people to be able to play the fiddle too. So that sounds all good to me. And right now I have it. Let me just, I'll just show you a little bit about it. The violin valet comes in two parts. Now, in my left hand, I have one of the parts. I've got these two weights. Uh, it's got a tether, it's padded, makes it comfortable. Uh, it's one of the things, the first one certainly wasn't padded. This comes off, comes off right up here. And uh, then the other part is a harness that goes on the fiddle, not on the fiddler, on the fiddle. I uh, made this specifically to not damage the instrument. Very concerned about that. Uh, just like this shoulder rest has some surgical tubing to protect the instrument. I use surgical tubing on the violin delay harness to protect the instrument. Now this. Uh, it does. Uh, it wraps around the tailpiece here, the pin, and uh, attaches right here. Like I said, now I store this in the top of my violin case where I put my shoulder rest, and the other part it fits real flat, so it fits in the the fiddle case. Um, I made this piece on the bottom to make it really easy to tighten it so that it's not loose, not going to come loose. Um, if you just keep an eye on it. If there's any kind of problem, it's easy to see. It should never come loose on you as long as you pay attention to it. Give it a little bit of TLC every once in a while, just like you do your instrument. So, I do want to say, don't don't even try to use a violin belay without a shoulder wrist. I have a buddy that doesn't use a shoulder wrist. He wanted to try one. He didn't like it. Not going to lie to you. Not going to tell you everyone ever tried it, liked it. But I will tell you that most people really do like it, and they say it's really comfortable. He didn't like it, and I wasn't surprised at all because he didn't use a shoulder rest. Now, you want to play, or first of all, if you just want to hold your fiddle, and you got a violin belay on it, it comes off really easy. Even the harness comes off easy. I leave the harness on. It's been on there. I've leave them on for years. Uh, doesn't even need adjusting usually, but you want to check it every once in a while, make sure that nothing's worn and so forth and so on. But have the weights in this hand, you can hold it just like this. All right, throw the weights over your shoulder, it's going to hold it for you, no problem. You can adjust it, have it here, have it here, whatever you want. Now, sometimes I'll take one of the weights, put it around my neck. Um, it holds a little tighter your neck. Uh, a few years ago, I thought I needed that to do vibrato, but I've gotten to where it doesn't really matter. I do the vibrato anyway. I'm 
I'm not really that good of a fiddler. Now, if you wanted to sing like in folks down in Louisiana, but you don't want to hold your fiddle with your left hand like the folks in Louisiana, you want your fiddle to sit up in a natural position. Violin and valet will do that for you, no problem. Uh, I can't sing. I'm not that good. I'm not going to punish you by playing anymore. Just wanted to show you. You can do the vibrato. You can do the vibrato without it having up there. So, uh, see that part there. Anyway, you want to take it off. You just pull it off with this hand around the tether until it comes up to the weights. There you go. You hold your fiddle. Now, one thing that I'd say never do, if you have a violin belay, you bought one of these from me, then don't do this, okay? Don't let the weights hang and hold the fiddle. They can catch on something. It's putting more pressure. Uh, it's not good. It's not good for the violin belay. It's not good for your instrument. So if you're using a violin belay, you don't have it on, please always hold the weights, okay? And you can just take them off really easy. Put your violin back in the case, whatever. Um, you know, lay it down. You just don't want to have the, the violin blade pulling. I think it's quite a bit more tension than what you're going to get. It's not like it's a whole lot. The main thing is that they can catch on something, you know, so forth and so on. Just just don't do it. You know, hold it like this and just ask everybody to do that. Good practice. Um, there's not a whole lot more for me to tell you about them. If you want to play the fiddle and sing, if you have problems with your neck or something, you can't hold it with your chin. That's why I invented it for myself. It works really good for me. People say it's comfortable. Um, www.bilinvalet.com. Go to the purchase page. I'll be happy to sell one. Have a great day and happy fiddling.